What's poppin' people? We are back with another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. I did not stop playing this for Insurgents. Um, I just didn't upload the last couple days because Insurgents took me a lot longer uh, than I expected and I had to edit it down and um, upload it and all that good stuff and render and stuff. So I didn't have enough time left in the day. So I'm starting earlier today. Uh, so we should be good to get an episode of Insurgents and Rejuvenation up today. Uh, this is my current team, Oogie. If you guys are enjoying this playthrough, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. So we are where? I think we're on a boat now. We're on the boat that we used to escape from the island. I'm really sorry about your mom. Sorry, I don't know how to do these things. Okay, so apparently my mom was a fucking doll or something. They were calling her a doll. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Looks like Shofu made it after all. So, I brought you three here to apologize for what I had to do under the alias Emma. Especially you, Shofu. We're friends and I treated you like a common prisoner, but I had my own reasons. What are they? I was sent to the castle for two objectives, to save you all from Team Zen and to investigate the island. I don't know if you're aware, but Black Steeple Castle consists of two buildings. I think Braxton mentioned something similar. Right, well, the second building apparently houses a great secret that only Madam X knows about. To make sure no one entered the castle, a barrier was placed. I was trying to find a way to remove the barrier, but I could not find anything. Is that why you pretended to be a, to be loyal to Nevid? Yes. If I were to be thrown into prison with you, all my movements would have been incredibly limited. Although, I didn't find much even with my ability to move where I pleased. Except for one thing. What's that? I learned that Team Zen is trying to gather energy, specifically from humans. Humans? Why humans? Okay, that's not the question you ask. Why are they trying to gather energy? It doesn't matter from who. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Something obviously makes us different from other li living beings. Yeah, well, we could have helped, you know. We knew some things. Yes, I realize that now, but I didn't want to risk my cover being blown. Oh, my, blowing my cover, same thing. <laughs> it was all or nothing. I think when I read things sometimes, I translate it into how I would want it to be said or how I would say it. <laughs> like there, for instance. <laughs> There's something I want to ask. Back at the prison, you told Madam X that she thought you were dead. What's the reason behind that? I'm sure Shofu would like to know more than anyone, huh? It's a long story, but in short, I was rescued by two people. They are called Spacia and Tiempa. I told you she wasn't freaking dead, man. They helped me fake my death and erase myself off Team Zen's radar. If it weren't for them, I would be... God knows where. Well, I'm glad you're safe. If it weren't for you, we would have been minced by Madam X's sword. So I trust you. Yeah, me too! You guys. Well, it's been a few days since we set sail. Augusta said we're close to docking at Oceana Pier. So I'm going to check on that. Oh, and Shofu, I hope you're doing okay. Your mom was brave. She saved me back at that prison. She'll always be remembered. Okay, it's but I want to know what the doll part meant. Yeah, I'll get going too. I've been on edge ever since Nevid attacked me at the castle. Right, I'm sorry I didn't help with that. It's okay, I get it. You had to do what you had to do. Nah, fuck that. I'm getting electrocuted and you don't help me? You better... That's crazy. She don't even sound like this. Hey, Shelf, it's been a while. Why'd the music change? Sincere condolences about your mother. You didn't have much opportunity to say your goodbyes, but... I had to use that opportunity to strike or all would have been lost. I'm sure she wouldn't have it any other way, though. As for you, it seems you've gotten a lot stronger since our last interaction. That's a good thing. Strength is important. If only we were strong back then like we are now, huh? I wonder how different things would have turned out if that were the case. It's been a long time since then. The day everything changed, right? The day of the Fire Nation attack. I wanted to go back for you, but I couldn't. I had to get out of Garen City as quickly as possible. I didn't expect them to chase me all the way to Amethyst Cave, though. That was unexpected. That aside, how has your journey been? I've heard about your efforts in stopping Team Zen from Elita. Is it true that your snag machine has been damaged in some way? I see. Well, let me take a look at it, okay? Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it from what I can tell. I see. Madel has basically bricked it, right? As you are aware, there was an interfering signal located at Black Steeple Castle. The snag machine works similarly to, a, similarly to a Pokeball. When the signal switched off your Pokeballs, it reversed the hindering effect Madel has put on your snag machine. Let me just give it back to you then. Are you serious? Did you see what I'm- Hello. Okay, Siri, not now, man, I'm recording. Jesus. 
Every time I say, are you serious? Siri wants to pop in like I'm talking to her, but I ain't. But do you guys see what I'm talking about with the convenience thing? It's like, it's not like Pokemon Insurgents where the, the game mechanics are convenient, such as having a name raider and a move deleter in every single Pokemon Center so you don't have to go to a specific area to do that. It's just story convenience so the story can progress. My snag machine just automatically works all of a sudden. Like what? <laughs> it's like he just adds in things that don't really need to be added in, like just to make the story carry on. That's what I don't like. That's the convenience I don't like. It's two different kinds of convenience. Anyways, no worry about that. Hey, Shelf, remember back at Goldenwood Grove? We had our first battle there, right? And like I said, strength is important. But I want to know you. I just battled you. What? Jesus fucking lord. <laughs> I just battled her. Breaks into here. Piano lady. What a crazy time to be alive in, right? If only I had a piano to suit the hearts of everyone on board. That's my fucking pal. Piano lady. This is my room. Although it is in the SS Oceana. I still love being out at sea. There's a whole bunch of rooms in here. Got a freaking Pokemon Center? Egyptian beach party. That's kind of racist. Oh, it's a Pokemon breeder. This has all Aldinos. I want my freaking, uh... I think we've all heard. Flare Blitz. Clean. This, this uh... Moose is looking kind of clean, guys. Somebody told me I should keep Heat Wave because it um, breaks one of the fields, so I'll do that. My Sandcastle! Okay, so I'm gonna save the game because I don't wanna battle. Wait, can I? Is he, is he here? Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's there for me to battle whenever I want, so I'm not gonna battle him now. So that's pretty cool. Oh, you can buy stuff here. I don't get any money in this game. I have reverse candies as well. The stairs there. Oh, here's the battle room. I'm gonna come back here. Now that all of this is over, I can probably head back to Sheridan. I'm gonna check this bookshelf just in case. Just in case, just in case. There's a clock here. Remember that guy who swam in the Arctic water and died? Well, that didn't really happen. Sorry for lying. What? So we are telling lies now. That's what we doing? That's what we doing now? Crazy. back here what's this for probably an item somewhere there you know how these games are a bunch of people outside in the rooms there's no more rooms I don't think all right let's go outside then she needs a pedicure being forced out of your home your own home isn't fun at all I didn't care that I was locked up, to be honest. At least they fed us. What? I've been a little afraid of boats ever since then. Man, getting dragged by that tentacle thing kind of hurt. Hey, thanks for saving us. Just want to go home. There's nothing out here? What's the whole point of that area, then? This place isn't exactly the SS Oceana, but it will have to do for now. We should be docking at Oceana Pier quite soon. Nothing here. What's out here? Valerie's here. Somehow the sound of the ocean always lifts my spirit. Hey, 
The breeze feels so good. I wish every day could be this peaceful. I can fly, Jack! I can fly! There's just no way. Fried Krabby? That's fucking random. She about to jinx us all. She just said, I swear that this, if this boat gets attacked too, <laughs> I'm going to murder someone. Knowing the strength of your friends, your enemies, yourself. It's all you have on the battlefield besides your Pokemon. When all else fails, you'll need trust. And what better way to gain trust than to battle? This time I'll battle not as Emma, but as Melia. Okay, she's looking kind of nice. Gardevoir, yeah, shiny. Let's come. Oh, she has Shadow Ball. And it killed in one hit? What? Jesus. I should have switched to this immediately, honestly. Dark Ball. Oh, Dark Ball. What are you doing, babe? Oh. Right. <laughs> you actually had this Pokemon. Gardevoir does get Shadow Ball, so. Well, that makes a lot more sense then. Every Pokemon is shiny. Uh, Mega. You can take on a young Mega. That is damage, boy. Hug the kiss. I think I can stay in. Or do I want to go up to this? Let me go up to this. <laughs> Probably gonna die here. You get some nice confusion. <laughs> oh, I live. Hi. <laughs> I just need. I don't have any potions. There's no way. What? I don't want to waste the whole fucking full store of max potion. Damn, dude. I should be able to beat her either way, though, honestly. Just try to get up. Just try to get up. Confuse here. Yep. I'm for rocking just to lower the speed. I don't care if she kills this. I'll kill her with a growl or something. Actually, no. Kill it with Madish now? I'm gonna kill it with Kill it with no animation for Flare Blitz? What? Ah, so this is your true strength. It will be needed in the future. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Your strength has increased with your still Shofu. I'm glad that's the case. Well, we should head back upstairs. I'm sure everyone is waiting for us. Let's go together. I always like the idea of traveling by boat. The wide open sea is always so soothing. The crashing waves, the water is actually blue here. <coughs> Excuse me. It was never this pure in Giren. And Jenner never took me places other than Giren and Grand Dream City. By the way, how is Jenner doing? You know, not that I actually care. Just curious. You know you care. So he was abducted? Serves him right if you ask me. It's kind of funny actually. Ironic in a way. He sent me to Goldenwood Forest to be abducted only to be abducted himself. Once we drop you off at Gear and we're heading to Akua Town. After that, well, I'll be continuing my journey. I wish I could see Venom and Ren before I leave, but it can't be helped. Can I at least tell them that you are not dead? Where did this fog come from? It feels so unnatural. That's weird. I didn't see any fog on the horizon. The goons are showing up. They are going to 
filter through our booty pipes. <laughs> it just kind of appeared. Strange. Huh? What? <laughs> well, it seems to have passed just as quick as it came. Is it just me, or has it gotten really hot? Uh, you're definitely not the only one. It definitely feels like it's summer. Jack, I'm flying! I'm flying! Whoa, slow us down! Land ho! Land? There wasn't land there a second ago. We're moving too fast! Brace for impact! I'm flying! I'm <laughs> oh, shit! What the fuck? Oh, well, this is just great. Let's get off the ship. What happened? This is Terajuma Shore. Terajuma Shore? Like on Terajuma Island, right? Why are we on Terajuma Island? We were on course for Giran City, weren't we? We definitely were. And we weren't close to Terajuma Island at all. Quite the opposite, actually. Do you think that weird fog had anything to do with this? I'm sure the two have a connection. In fact... Hey, Sam. I'm going to go on a quick run down by the... Uh... Hey, there? She went back inside. Hey, Sam. What's up, Alex? What's the code for a ship appearing out of nowhere and crashing into the island? Huh? Oh, that's a code orange. Ah, I see. A code orange. Hey, Sam? Yeah? Code orange. What? I said code orange. Well, it looks like you were right, Alex. This is definitely a code orange. Er, uh, hello? Nice day, isn't it? Uh-huh. I hope you all don't mind, but we're going to have to take you to Kokori, Kokori Village for questioning. Questioning? Well, I suppose appearing out of the blue generally is unusual, but we actually have something we need to take care of first. And that is, I'm very interested in hearing about it. Well, our friend was kind of catapulted into the jungle. We were just about to go look for them. Hey, wait, aren't you two Pokemon Rangers? Yes, we are, actually. How did you know that? Er, it's been a while, but your uniforms. You two work for Crawley, right? Yes. You know an awful lot about us. What's your name? My name is Melia. Wait, you're Melia? That girl we saw a few months back? You look extremely different. Yes, I've definitely changed. But do you mind helping us find our friend lost in the jungle? <laughs> she fucking flew. She did the Superman! <laughs> you! Well, seeing as though patrolling the jungle and guiding lost civilians is our job, yes. Just a small word of advice, though. You may want to move your ship a little southwest. Instead of being stalled on the shores of Terajuma, you can dock. You can be docked safely at the pier. Right. We'll get started on that, then. They just leave me here? That's how it is? That's how it is, guys? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave me here? I can heal Pokemon. I'm sure he sells stuff. You know, I need to buy some damn potions. You have hyper potions, my dude? You have super potions. Like, come on, are you serious? He has super potions. That's not enough. <laughs> All right, then uh, I don't have surf. We're gonna move on. I wish I had a stronger water move than freaking water pulse. You can catch wild Pukumuku in this game. Pukumuku! Level 32. But I don't want it. Oh, it disappeared. Okay, so they, those disappear after you run from them. I might catch one later. I don't really, I don't really see Pukumuku being useful <laughs> in this game. Always locked, man. I'm trying to explore, man. Madamax. Oh shit. Madamax. What is it, Nastasia? Speak. I've come to confirm the arrival of our new recruit. And you said he fits the prophecy? Correct. The one of betrayal? Considering who he is, I think it would make sense to come to that conclusion. You may present yourself to Madame X now. 
There's just no fucking way. Oh, it's red. <gasps> There's just no way. There's just no fucking way, Ren. There's just no way. Oh my. There's just no way, man. Ren, are you serious, bro? You just gonna turn on your own niggas like that. Just because you are a whiny ass crybaby bitch, you're gonna turn on your boy. There is just no way you're meeting with Madam X right now in this moment. So he, he just said, fuck Venom, fuck Shofu, Melly is dead, fuck it, I'm gonna join the evil team. There's just no way that was his reaction. What's going on here? What's going on in this game, bro? What's, I need answers. Now, nah, hell no. They're friends with Shofu and Ko. If what he's saying is genuine, he may be the one. So, you wish to join Team Zen? And what made you want to betray your friends? Uh, my friends betrayed me first. Ah! There's just no fucking way! Who betrayed you? I saved your entire town, bitch! Oh, hell, that's betrayal? So now that you can go home, have a nice peaceful life, have outsiders come into your town without them being ridiculed and made fun of and attacked, I betrayed you. You're fucking crazy! I betrayed you by giving you a better life, bitch? Oh hell no! You tried to lock me out of the whole town, but I betrayed you. I betrayed you, but you're joining the evil team. I betrayed you? You're fucking crazy! No new friends, man. This is exactly what I be talking about. And you can't trust nobody nowadays. Damn it! I'm getting angry. <laughs> be it as it may. Don't you dare think of double-crossing us. I will not give mercy to traitors. Remember this. Don't worry, that won't happen. Great. If that's all, we'll be heading to the Shadow HQ to retrieve our data. Where should we take them afterwards? Take them to Grand Dream City. We shall proceed our plans from there. Affirmative. Rent is a bitch-ass nigga, man. There's just no other way around it. He's a certified bitch ass nigga. He cried because I beat the gym leader first. I even though he's saying I betrayed him, right? Let's go over this. I betrayed him because I beat the gym leader first. But guess what? I gave him the opportunity to, uh, to fight her first. I gave him the opportunity, remember? He said, please, please let me fight her first. I said, yeah, sure, go ahead, man. He said, you know what? You're, there's no way you'd let me fight her first. And he just left like, bro, I told you to go fight her. But now I betrayed him because he's stupid. He's just fucking stupid, man. I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. I'm telling you I'm getting angry. <laughs> Once we're there, we'll assemble a search party for your friend. Be thankful that you all have... Excuse me. Be thankful that you all don't have to walk through the actual jungle. A lot of people try to, but most just end up getting heart, uh, heat stroke or bitten by a poisonous Pokemon. Oh? Here I was looking forward to an adventure with my pals through the jungle. Yeah, right. You're a total priss, Brixen. If someone offered to carry you through the jungle, you would accept. And you wouldn't? I smell a dirty little hypocrite. Well, you too, can it? It's bad enough that I'm getting a headache from this humidity. Please save me the trouble of producing a full-blown migraine. Sorry, Valerie. Sorry, though. Well, shall we proceed? Yes, let's. W wait It's Nim. Don't go without me. Nim, are you sure you're all right? You look like you've been jabbed in the stomach and thrown off a moving vehicle. That's oddly specific, but you get my point. Y yeah, I know. It must have been the boat ride. I get seasick sometimes, you know? J just gotta walk this one off. All right. I I'm fine, really. Talk to this person here. Fungus. You kill it just because I want to. Because I want to. But did I say not very effective? What? On what planet? On what planet is Air Slash not very effective against the fungus? Is that a is that a joke? Is that a mistake? <laughs> I just went on an early morning walk to let go of some stress, and guess what happens? I get blocked out of my village because some selfish carnivine wants to cause some complete havoc. Oh, but that's not all. This would usually be no big deal because of the warp pads, right? Well, they conveniently stopped working at the moment all of this started to go down. Weird, huh? Yeah, I know. Well, there's a lot of weird conveniences in this game. 
That's where they went. I don't think I'm supposed to come in here yet. <laughs> I think I am at some point, but not yet. Is this where they went? They went up here, didn't they? I mean, I saw them over there to the left. I just thought it looked weird that they walked straight up like that. Why do you, what, what are you doing here? Pikachu, oh shit. Bro, are you fucking serious? Guys! He's a right you. The back. Okay, this dude's Pokemon at level 44. I gotta train my Pokemon up again. What, what, what level can I go up to now? Just kidding, it's not. Let's see. My bag. Damn it. My Pokemon will go up to level 45 now. But these people have level 46 Pokemon. What's up with these vines? Can we not cut them down? Oh, these are the carnivine they were talking about. It's just one thing after the other, I swear. Well, I guess no one said life will be easy, right? The carnivine. That everybody's talking about. It seems like this problem is getting worse. If you ask me how I was doing at this exact moment, I'd tell you, oh my fucking lord. Just use flamethrower on the fucking vine, man. You fucking worthless ass Pokemon. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell them there's something blocking our path. How great for us. These vines certainly weren't here last time. Uh, correct. That's because these vines are fresh. And I'm talking fresh, as in a few minutes fresh. These weren't here when Alex and I walked by here. We knew these vines were sprouting all over the place. That's why Sam and I were out here. We didn't find anything, so we decided to put, go back to Kikoi via warp pad, but this weird fog appeared and suddenly the warp pad near here stopped working. We went to the shack on the shore to get some parts to repair it, and that's when we found you all. I see. Do you know what's causing these vines? Yes, we do. Alex, stop. No, I will not stop. You know it's true. I know it's true. And Crawley knows it's true. Am I missing something here? You're missing a lot of things, dear. <laughs> These vines were created by a Pokemon called Carnivine. Okay, so flamethrower the shits. I have an Arcanine. Well, I don't have an Arcanine yet. I have a Growlithe right here. He can flare blitz the shit out of it. Carnivine? I thought they didn't appear in this section of Terra Juma. They don't. I'm sure this Carnivine somehow made its way here by mistake. No, it was deliberately placed here by Angie to give us all an eternal headache. I'm sorry, who's this Angie? Angie is the supposed gym leader of Chris Crystalline Town. I say supposed because, <coughs> excuse me, because she says she is even though, excuse me, I can't fucking, I can't fucking breathe. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I say supposed because she says she is, even though she's only been on this island for about a month. She goes around spreading her stupid religion and harasses others who don't comply to her standards. She is definitely a handful, but we have no proof that she's the one who sent this carnivine. Where, where, like, where is she? Why am I just now hearing about this person then? Like, I don't understand. Whatever, Sam. Just, whatever. Anyway, I guess this means we'll have to go through the entire jungle now, right? Not the entire jungle. There should be a functioning warp pad just west of here. There is another set of stairs on the other side. Is it blocked from there as well? Well, let's check. Hey, how's the situation over there? It's a no-go. This path is blocked with a really thick vine as well. We can't go through here. Okay, I have cut. I have ice beam. No, I don't have ice beam. I have poison moves. I have gunk shot. I got flare blitz, heat wave, air slash. Like, why can't we just cut the vines? <laughs> that settles that. Ugh, Brakeson. Can't you just burn down these vines or something? You're fired. Thank you. I could burn down these vines, but haven't you noticed that we are in a jungle? You're practically asking me to burn down the entirety of Terra Juma. Okay, we have a water type gym leader right across the way! What? 
Only you can prevent forest fires. Man, screw these stupid vines. Okay, see that logic is so dumb. You can flamethrower them. The water gym leader just across the way can put the fire out. Or I can use Aeris. Man, there's so many ways around this. If no one is going to do anything about them, then I'll just move them with brute force. Where'd he go? So the long way then? <laughs> yep, let's get a move on. <laughs> that boy bouncing with flying. I guess we're supposed to go through here. It's a cave. All right, shouldn't be too far from here. All we have to do now is cross over this small body of water and we'll be about there. Simple enough, let's get moving. Wh wait, what's wrong? This is a little bit embarrassing, but Shofu and I can't cross. Do you not have the surf, surf HM? If so, I can provide it. <laughs> I can't read. Do you not have the surf HM? If so, I can provide you with it. It's not that, it's just, I don't think we have enough badges to utilize that HM. Are you fucking serious, man? I can carry at least one other person on my lap wrist, but no more than that. If I recall correctly, you need five badges to be able to use surf. Shofu, how many badges do you have? Uh, what do you... <laughs> What do you think the answer to that question is? You know what game I'm playing. You know how conveniently everything just happens to happen at the very exact moment it needs to happen. I have four, bitch. I have fucking four. Because he wrote this in because he knew I'd have four badges at this particular time in the story. All right? You know I have four. Don't fucking ask me. <laughs> we have two gym leaders in this room, correct? Shofu just needs to battle and hopefully defeat one of you. Or er, I'd fight Shofu, but I don't think they're quite on my level yet. I think Shofu and I are up on par at the moment. I guess the duty of battling Shofu will be mine. Well then, shall we get started? No, 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 this just won't do- Shut up, Brakeson! What's the problem, Brakeson? This is so not the place to start battling. Plus, this room is really small. He'll definitely hit one of us. Just outside this place was a waterfall with a small cove-like area, correct? Doesn't that seem like the best place for Valerie, Valerie to show- True, blah, blah, For Valerie to truly show her skill? Well, I suppose that does sound nice. And like you said, this cave is really cramped. So sure, why not? Let's have our battle outside. Meet me there whenever you're ready to start this. I won't let you down. Of course I'll be rooting for you, Shofu. Show Valerie who's boss. Oh boy. Fuck you, Brakeson. I need to heal my Pokemon though. That's what they were talking about. I'm gonna heal and come back. Fuck Brakeson over here snitching on me. <laughs> the fuck do I get out of here? Beedra. I think she has water types, right? Pretty sure she does. I don't know how I'm gonna beat her though. I think it's about time I evolved my uh, Growlithe too. Does it learn any other moves? I need to check. I'm gonna check real quick what Growlithe learns. Cause I'm pretty sure I want it to learn uh, Extreme Speed, right? Never mind. Growlithe has actually learned every move it learns. <laughs> I'm actually gonna evolve it right now. There's my Firestone. Oh, getting ourselves a nice. Very nice. Arcanine. I think it learns extreme speed upon evolving. Is that it? I guess not. Shit. Oh, it learns extreme speed. Oh, that's whack. In order to get extreme speed on Arcanine, I would have had to uh, level it. Okay, I have to go back and get it a hard scale for that. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure, I have no TMs dude at all, like what the heck. I'm gonna teach this to, um, to you, over Venom Drench, cause that moves fucking garbage. <laughs> I'm also gonna teach it to Matacham, because his only attacking moves are Fighting Type. All right, I gotta use a uh, reverse candy as well on you. Should probably train up a little bit. 
Can I go back to the boat? I don't think I can. I wish I could. But, uh, this will have to do. Oh, the boat's here. Alright, maybe I should, uh, train a little bit, guys. I think I will. I'm gonna train my Pokemon all up to all up to level 45, so this gym battle is not so hard. Be right back. All right, guys, got everybody to around uh, level 45. The only one that's not is um. Wait, how do I get out of here? Here. The only one that's not level 45 is uh. Woobat, and that's because if I had gone any further, he probably would have ended up passing level 45. So, uh, he's at level 44, but we should be good. You know what I'm saying? Right, so where are these people at? In the jungle, right? All right, let's save the game. I've seen the way you battled at Black Steeple Castle, you know. I was very impressed with your battling capabilities and care for your Pokemon. It's truly admirable. Maybe if I was half as good as you, I could have saved your mother. I blame myself for not being strong enough and... Stop it, Valerie. This isn't the time. Don't show hesitation. Sorry, Shofu. Even if you do so dearly need my badge, I won't let it up in the slightest. Go, Shofu. You can do it. Kick their head in, Valerie. Throw a rock at them if you need to. Just win. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's the water gym leader, which is why we're on water, which is why she should just give me the fucking HM. Give me her badge. Go say. Oh, she's looking kind of nice. Lantern is her first one. Of course it is. Fucking serious? <laughs> I don't have anything super effective against the Lantern at all. Alright, well this isn't going to be good, so I'm going to reset this battle. I, If I remember correctly, this she gave me a lot of trouble the first time, if I, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and put this thing in front. Because that's not going to help me to have Lubat in the front like that. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Are you fucking serious, bro? <laughs> I just want to get a good start to the battle. I don't care what happens after that. I don't want to be missing moves and shit. Jesus. I'm gonna use meditate. Give me that nice boost to boost. Should kill. Yep. Lucolo. I'm level 46. Pokemon's not gonna listen to me, probably. My luck. Oh, I just died anyways. Okay. Not so bad. Uh, what do I have for this thing, though? <laughs> just come back. Hopefully, that's probably gonna do too much damage to me. It half, Jesus. Don't crit me. Burn. We should do a good amount, hopefully. It didn't even kill. Jesus. It did 75%. Okay, hopefully that doesn't proc the uh, hyper potion. I'll take that. I don't think I can kill with it there. Just washy. Pokemon is ass! <laughs> but in this situation, it's not ass at all, actually. It's actually good. Oh. 
interesting enough. Um, I learned rock slot, or sorry, rock climb earlier. It's good for, you know, there's a whole bunch of things I can go get with that. Very definitely good. But Shiwashi is not weak at all. <laughs> I'm gonna use Water Pulse myself. She's had to use her Hyper Potion there, that's weird. If she was gonna use her Hyper Potion there, I would have assumed she was gonna use it on her, uh. on her melodic. You fucking serious?! There's just no way. There's just no way. There's just no way. Do I have any revives at all? I probably should have used this first. Let's see if I have any revives. I have the rare candy. I have no revives. At all. Fuck, dude. I have one full restore. Hmm. I gotta use one of these now. Otherwise, otherwise I just have no chance. I'm definitely dead, too. Probably lost. Even with a good start. Fuck. Can't have that happening. Slow, bro. Like at the end of like at the like at the break of the night, the waves grow calm. Does this signify the end? Yo, I spoke about the slow, bro. Hopefully, I can take some water moves. Black. Oh, that sucks. Like, but I guess that doesn't really matter now. <laughs> Shit, a water a water move's gonna fucking blow me back right now. Oh, never mind. Well, she uses she uses a, a max a hyper potion. Yes, let's go. Acid armor. I like my current moveset. Like. Marine biologist Valerie. Looks like I've been washed away. We got puns now? And that's that. Looks like you win this one, Shofu. Well, I'd like to say I'm satisfied and proud that you were able to win. Thus, I present you, Shofu, with this badge in honor of your victory and my humble defeat. Dewdrop badge. Oh, that's so lame, but I guess it was a pretty good match over. Shut up, Brakeson, you fucking hating ass bitch! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got my badge, and here we are. If you ever want to revisit that cove for whatever reason, just surf up this stream and it'll lead you straight there. We shouldn't keep the others waiting though, so let's hurry up. All right, people, I think I'm gonna save the game there. Wait, am I fucking myself fucked up? <laughs> yes, they are. Anyway, I think I'm gonna save the game there. I'll heal my Pokemon next episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back next episode with some more Pokemon rejuvenation. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye!